over the past week I removed my Jeep grill from my Wrangler and I sent it to my best friend Joe and he put his meanest work on this thing. Let's look at it. Bam. Done in the original PW6 white. If you guys can remember, my original PW6 white went away when I applied Plasti Dip to my Jeep when I first bought it. Uh, it was a cool look, it was great, but then I kept it on there for like two or three years, I feel like. It was a long time. And the Plasti Dip just kind of worked its way into the paint and just destroyed the clear coat. And uh, years and years of me just trying to quick fix it, band-aid fix it with touch-up paint and all that uh, has led up to it just looking like junk. A bunch of bugs were stuck in uh, the paint, a bunch of dents in it from rocks and all that from over the years. And now this thing is just looking so clean. I don't even know if my Jeep deserves it, to be quite honest, because this is going to be the only panel that doesn't have damage on it. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to work our way around the rest of the Jeep. But we can finally take this out of the paint booth. It's been drying. So I'm going to take a couple more shots. And then I'll meet you guys over at the front of the Jeep where we're going to install it. Now before I install this grill, when I removed it, I removed the rubber seal that runs along the top of the grill. I'm thinking that I'll probably mount this up first now that I'm looking at it and then put this on afterwards it's just because the grill will be mounted in the upright position and it'll be easier to lay down uh, the tape. However, when you take off rubber seals like this from factory, usually or sometimes they use this 3M tape sticks on one side of the rubber and then the other side sticks on uh, whatever you're trying to adhese to, some double sided adhesive. I went ahead and got some. This is one fourth diameter that should be right exactly the correct length for this. It's not too important on the exactly the width. I guess if you go too far you're gonna have to cut it. Cutting this stuff is kind of a pain so I wouldn't recommend it. You can go thinner and sometimes or if you do have a thin roll, you can just double it side to side and achieve the same length if you have a, a 1 8 width double stick tape. But if you're going to reuse your seal, how do you remove the old tape? I have a trick for you. Get your drill, could be cordless, corded, butane, whatever you have. And in the chuck, instead of putting a, a normal drill bit, I want you guys to find a rubber nipple like this. We're going to load this up into the chuck. So we have our drill here. We're open up the chuck all the way. The chuck is just referring to the thing that clamps your drill bit or your bit. So we're going to open that up, find our nipple here. Stick this in side of there. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of force just to kind of force it into that chuck. Make sure it stays in there nice. And now, tying up your chuck. There you go. You have a rubber, little spin tip, magic eraser, uh, but these are cheaper if you just use a rubber nipple. Now, kind of the most tedious part is actually doing the removal. I like to use an edge of my, my tool cart here. You can use the edge of your table. 
kind of hold that with my thumb. And now, when I hit this, that adhesive is gonna come off and leave the rubber. Hit that small area there. You can work your way all the way down and take off this adhesive and then we're going to wash both of our mating surfaces and apply the new 3M. So after about 20 minutes, we have our seal free from the adhesive. This is all the adhesive here. I have some soapy water in a bottle. There you go. And just a little brush. I'm gonna wash this with soap and water, dry it off, hit it with the heat gun a little bit so it's dry, and then it'll be time to open this up. We just gave this a nice little wash. It doesn't look I mean clean clean but it looks clean enough I'm pretty sure this will pass there's not too much dust or anything like that I'm looking at the finish of it and it's looking nice and satin so hopefully that will be a nice tooth for this tape to grab on but while this is drying a little bit longer I want to get the rest of the grill ready for installation you guys may remember my LED turn signals well this is how they turned out a couple years later and just getting sun-kissed, sun-scorched more of, honestly. This used to be clear. This used to look like this. This was one kind of hanging out that I found before I moved out of the shop. I just tossed it on the Jeep just so it looks a little bit nicer. Finally, we're gonna toss those out and we're gonna go back to factory. These clear housings came out, I believe, 2015 and on, but these are sweet. They changed the amber uh, lens housings that year, and I believe a year later they gave everybody LED headlights uh, with projector beams. So uh, those are all plug and play upgrades if you have an early year JK, like your boy. I have some brand new 3157 bulbs. Um, I'm gonna need to get some LEDs so it can match my rear set, uh, but these turn signals install pretty quick let's make sure we have the right one this is the right side so it should be this side and you have two little tabs there two locking tabs the one tab in the middle is protruded out just a little bit so it catches that edge and holds it in place since this is OEM to OEM we should have a sweet fit right now that's what I'm talking about Let's do the other one. All right. Now I'm going to flip this over. Hopefully those new turn signals don't just fly out. I'm going to verify that those tabs have come out. As you can see on this side, those tabs didn't quite pop out just yet. So I'm going to push it a little bit harder and get those tabs to engage. All right, got that thing planted in there. Now I'm just gonna put my bulb in. Sweet. The other side. Now 
we could set our grill on the Jeep. Plug in my turn signals and also snap the grill into place. Now we just have a couple of push pins to put in at the corners. All right, so we have our clips in. This will be a clip for everyone without the mod for these running lights. This big bolt acts as a locating uh, hole for the grill on my Jeep. But otherwise, you'll have those trim clips. You can get replacements online, probably the cheapest on Amazon or uh, at O'Reilly's. Now we're gonna open up our 3M tape. Our seal should be dry now. You want to make sure you have clean hands for this. If you have greasy hands and you contaminate the tape, uh, your tape is not going to work very good. Get a straight edge, get a razor blade, and get a nice pair of scissors. Those are going to be your tools for success with this stuff. So let's start this out. Just like that. And as I run my line of tape, I'm just going to keep it keep that gap nice and consistent. I'm just going to make a nice line of tape. And it might not set down in place, but this stuff is pressure sensitive and that will activate the tape. So, if you are going around some hard corners or you're having a hard time, just take it slow and be light on the pressure cuz then it'll allow you to reset it and uh you might be able to save save your bacon. The way I like to do it is just have little checkpoints where I push down hard just to lock it in place and then I kind of work my way back and just kind of press just like this. If you run it along like this you're gonna get a bunch of wrinkles and you're gonna be actually moving the tape out of your way. Uh, so just be gentle and just sl small presses. Taking your time with this will, will, will uh, be the best time. If you start to rush, this stuff is not very cooperative most times, so it's going to get very frustrating. All right. So now that I have, you know, ran out about a couple inches, we're going to just push that down just to lock it in place. Now, as I turn it, it's not going to move. Now I can keep working my way down here. I'm just going to cover the whole seal, and this seal doesn't clip in anywhere. I do not believe it has any any trim pins or anything like that to actually fix it to the vehicle. So the only thing holding it on is this tape. So keep that in mind when you're doing your prep. Remember the prep work is really where uh, your outcome is decided. Anyways, get my razor blade here and I'm just going to cut it off. Right there, press this down. Okay, now I'm just gonna make sure that this is all pressed down all the way, all the way across. And I'm gonna get a hard surface and I'm gonna push real hard to get that to stick. I'll flip this all the way over on my table and just start pushing it hard. Just getting it to stick to this side of the rubber. Just focusing on that. If you want, you can pick it up work your way but if you do it against a hard edge that's what makes that 3M stick real good is that pressure so as you guys can see I'm just gonna run it along that edge and as it hits that edge it's gonna be squeezing the rubber to that 3M it's gonna be securing it it's gonna slowly work my way over you can see the tape shifting slightly but we're getting some good coverage this stuff is sticking pretty good the next step and the next tip I have for you with this 3M tape is the peel. The peel is very hard because this tape, especially at the edges, wants to stick to 
of the double-sided adhesive. So get your razor blade, get your flat blade, and I want you to run just a line down the center. Don't push all the way down. If you run that razor blade nice and soft over it, it will glide over the adhesive layer and only cut through this red backing tape. After that, get your nail and hit that inside corner. Hit both of them, open it up just like that. Now, peel it up. You're ready to rock and roll. Make sure the opening of the seal faces the engine bay. Here we go. I'm just going to work it a little bit at a time, starting on my left side. Just kind of measure it out, see where it's going to center up. My hands are kind of flapping up here, so I probably should have done a better job of cleaning that up. I'm going to leave it. The rest of this is pretty stiff. It should hold up, and I guess we'll see. brand new feeling clean fresh on the front end I'm into it what do you guys think <laughs>